Hello people, today we are going to learn about plant scope management. Uh, it is a, one of the um, processes from the planning process group. This is the second process. The first which we uh, learned in the past tutorial was uh, plant stakeholder management. So let's see what we have to learn in plant scope management. What is plant scope management? Plant scope management is the process of creating scope management plan that documents how the project scope will be defined, validated and controlled. The key benefit of this process is that it provides guidance and direction on how scope will be managed throughout the project. The scope management plan is a component of project or program management plan that describes how project Mm, scope will be defined, developed, monitored, controlled, and verified. This plan helps to reduce the risk of project scope creep. What is project scope creep? Whenever we uncontrollably increase the project scope without making any consideration about other things like time, uh, cost, and mm, resources, then the scope project scope creep occurs. We will learn more about this creep in later tutorials. Let's see what are the inputs, tools, and techniques and output for the process plan scope management. So the inputs involved are project management plan, project charter, enterprise environmental factors, and organizational process asset. The tools and techniques used are expert judgment and meetings. Output is scope management plan and requirement management plan. Why project management plan? Because project management plan will include all the approved subsidiary plans so far. Uh, and, and after the plan scope management output, that is scope management plan and requirement management plan, will uh, both of these will again become the part of project management plan. So when we will learn about the project project management plan process, we will see that all these inputs will become a part of all these things, the outputs will become as an input of project management plan. So in case, let's see what's uh, input one by one. So what is project management plan? Approved subsidiary plans of the project management plan are used to create scope management plan and the influence and the approach taken for the planning scope and managing project scope. The second input is project charter. We have already uh, learned in the past tutorial about what is project charter and develop project charter process in the past tutorial. If you are not sure what is it or how to develop project charter, you can go back to my um, channel and find the the process e tutorial which say uh, which talks about develop project charter so let's see in the brief the project charter is used to provide the project context needed to plan the scope management processes it provides high level project description and product characteristic from the project statement of work other inputs are enterprise environmental factor and organizational process asset. In so short, we call them EEF and OPA. EEF for this particular process, for a scope management plan, what we need to include? Let's see. We need to include, but are we are, uh, uh, not, not only these are included, some others are included too, but these are the main. Organizational culture, infrastructure, personal administration, marketplace condition. So these are the enterprise and environmental factors that can influence the plan scope management process. What organizational process can influence the plan scope management process? These include policies and procedures and historical information and lesson learned knowledge base. So we have to take into account these two for developing the scope management plan. Tools and techniques used are expert judgment and meetings. So uh, expert judgment refers to the input received from the knowledgeable and experienced parties. 
expertise may be provided by any group or person with a specialized education knowledge skill experience or training in developing scope management plan in case of meetings project teams may attend the project meeting to develop the scope management plan attendees at these meetings may include project manager the project sponsor selected project team members selected stakeholders anyone with responsibility of for any of the scope management processes and others as needed the, uh, there are two outputs as we saw in the past slide the scope management plan is one output and the second output is requirements management plan so let's see one by one what is scope management plan as we learned in the uh, first slide it describes how the scope will be defined developed monitored controlled and verified the scope management plan is a major input into the developed project management plan process and other scope management processes the component of a project management plan include the process for preparing detailed project scope statement process that enables the creation of wbs what is wbs work breakdown structure we'll learn about these in detail in later tutorial so process that enables the creation of wbs from the detailed project scope statement process that establishes how wbs will be maintained and approved process that specifies how formal acceptance of the completed project deliverables will be obtained and process to control how request for the changes to the detailed project scope statement will be processed and second output is requirements management plan what is requirements management plan it's a input is a component of project management plan that describes how requirement will be analyzed documented and managed component of the requirement management plan include uh, how requirement activities will be planned tracked and reported configuration management activities such as how changes to the product will be initiated how impacts will be analyzed how they will be tracked uh, uh, traced tracked and reported as well as the authorization level required to approve the changes requirement prioritization process product matrix that will be used and the rationale for using them and traceability structure to reflect which requirement attributes will be captured on the traceability matrix so these were the output so let's see again in the brief uh, about the scope manage plan scope management processes so what were the input the inputs were project charter project management plan eef and opa tools and techniques were the expert judgment and meetings plan scope management was the output so uh, what what is plan scope management in brief a document uh, uh, it documents how the project scope will be defined validated and controlled and the two outputs were uh, scope management plan and the requirement management plan scope management plan um, includes process that is how to prepare project scope statement uh, a process to create man maintain get approved uh, our work breakdown structure how scope is validated and approved in case of requirement management plan how requirement activities will be planned managed reported how changes will be managed prioritization process and the trace traceability matrix um, structure so remember in case of planning process group in whenever there is something called plan that means it includes how how to do certain thing how to uh, prepare a project scope, scope statement how something can be done how uh, a scope can be validated or approved it includes all the hows how requirement activities will be planned how it will be managed how it will be reported how changes will be managed so it is all about how just remember that uh, so guys i hope you got some idea on the process e plan scope management uh, so if you are new to my channel subscribe and or come back to my channel for more videos on pmp and other things thank you for watching